Hey, what's going on, y'all? Had a guided trip today with Doug. I appreciate you booking a trip with me. We went out into the grass flats again since I did so good the day before. Um, this was yesterday. I'm just now putting the video up today. Usually my videos are up the same day. All of these grass flats that that are in either Ingleside or Anza's Pass or, or anywhere you fish that, that are grass flats, they always have a deeper area. It's usually towards the middle. Um, the, deep, the deeper grass flats, about three foot right in there, are usually the, the areas that hold the trout. The numbers of trout. I have caught a lot of quality trout in about two feet of water, so just depends on if you're looking for numbers, you know, a, a quick limit, 15 to 18 inches. They, they seem to usually hold in the little bit deeper water. They definitely hold redfish too, but it's been my experience over and over again that closer to the islands is where the redfish really like to hang out in that shallow water, 12 to 24 inches, uh, really sometimes less than 12 inches, but uh, the majority of the fish came from a brand new area or, or a brand new spot within within a, an area that I've that I fished a few times. So uh, I was exploring new stuff. Uh, I really like exploring new stuff and finding fish. And I'm just looking for bait fish activity. Um, the first redfish came from a Ray's Candy Custom Topwater Lure that y'all seen me throw the other day for the first time. <clears throat> and I caught a couple couple nice reds on that. My customer Doug caught a uh, 22 and a half inch trout, which was a really nice trout. He was using a red and white topwater. And then I switched to the wake bait. We did some searching, did some exploring, and I found a whole bunch of reds. And I caught them on the Bone Pearl Six Cents wake bait. They started off the first couple of reds not getting the wake bait in their mouth. They were hooked on the bottom, they were hooked on the top of the head. And that's a sign of them not really feeding real good just yet. And then they started getting it in the mouth. I started catching more. Um, the bite just turned on better later in the morning for redfish. Probably around 9 a.m. Was, was the best bite today. So, so all the grass flats have potholes. And what potholes are, if you can imagine a pothole in the road, it's a deeper little hole. And those deeper holes you can see on the surface, you can see the tan color surrounded by all of the submerged grass. The fish love to hang out in those potholes. So right here, you got a good looking set of potholes and they're all surrounded by this submerged grass. This color in here is the grass and then your tan is your potholes. So what I like to do, if I'm just targeting the potholes and maybe I'm not seeing a lot of activity, maybe it's a low activity day, I like to try to anchor Close to a set, I'll anchor right here, and I like to try to cast and bring that lure through a few sets of potholes. And I'll make a little bit of fan cast and, and try to bring it through uh, all of those potholes with basically with one cast. So I'm covering some good structure with each cast. And then since I'm already anchored right there, I'll probably go ahead and cast to some of these potholes too. So I'll make one cast there, one cast there, and probably a couple casts on this one. And then, uh, and then I'll just move my move my kayak. You know, find find another set of potholes, which you can see you can see the tan color, like I said, on the surface. So uh, when you see a few good potholes, then anchor and cast to those potholes a few times. So I'd move over here, move my kayak right there, and I would try to cast into these potholes, and then cast into these, and that one, and and this one, these tan areas all within one anchor position so i'm covering some good some good structure you know they definitely explore they definitely go in the grass and all that and they move around when they're chasing bait but there's times when they're just in the potholes today they uh we caught them pretty much pretty much everywhere so they started chasing bait and moving the bait bait around and i can tell from the bait activity that that there's fish in there i don't always see you know for sure fish but i see signs of fish you know bait activity um some some days it's real slow and i don't see much bait moving i see bait on the surface just being bait and i will cast in there once or twice and 99 percent of the time i don't hook up because that bait isn't being nervous or being chased so the good signs are when the bait's scattering or blow-ups 
uh, that wasn't really happening today, but the bait uh, did start to get nervous and start to kind of flicker and uh, just move a little bit more. So I found that area with that bait doing that, and that's that's where they were. So thanks for watching. Let's go get those lines tight. Doug, there's a bunch of bait moving right out here. There you go, redfish. <laughs> Good red. <laughs> Get out of there, dude. <laughs> He's not, he's not that big, but he's fighting. He's not hooked real good either. Oops. <clears throat> Definitely a slot. Yeah, we had to put him in the net kind of weird. <laughs> Cause the hook hooked the net. Yeah, he just got it in the head. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> Did you want to keep it, Doug? On the Ray's Candy Custom Top Water. He's a little bit skinny, but he's, he's about 23 inches, though. trout <laughs> a little a little dinker <laughs> oh yeah I thought so Oh, he missed it. It was a trout. <laughs> oh, he missed it again. And again. Oh. Oh, he, he is on there. No, it might be a little red. It's a little red, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he, he hit it. Quite a few times. Well, he might make, he might be slot. Yeah. 
yeah, he's a slut. Kind of skinny. That's good. He's probably a he probably would make 20. Uh, let's see. He's gonna be close. Yep, 20 and a half. What? You had a couple hits? Yeah. Right up in here. Okay. I got a 20 and a half. You want to keep it? Uh, no, let's just hold up. Okay. Yeah, he's a little bit skinny. <laughs> He hit it like six times. Really? <laughs> I thought it was a trout. You know, trout do that quite a bit, the way he did it. A trout, damn it, man. That's a good trout, too. Huh? That's a good trout, too. The sound of that blow up, I thought it was a red. <laughs> I know. You hit it like a red. <laughs> On top water? Yeah. Yeah. I got good bites over there, but I just. Yeah, they weren't really eating it. But, uh, Damn it, man. Look at that That's at least 20 inches. Huh? Gotta be bigger than 20, huh? 22 and a half. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good deal, man. You wanna go up and try that island over there? Sure. I actually had never hit it, but it looks like a good grass flat on this side of it, too. So. Oh, so. Yesterday I was tearing them up right here. <laughs> Yeah, plenty of bait, but there's nothing really messing with it, you know? Yeah. We'll keep on, keep on going. We might get into some reds by this island. Pretty good keeper. Right. 
Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty good one. About 24. They're starting to turn on better. I can tell by the way they're getting the hook. Nice one. Well, we could work back that way. <laughs> I didn't catch anything over here.